We're back at the XL Center in Hartford for a renewal of one of the defining rivalries in college sports as Tennessee and UConn meet. To Nadota and Tamari Key, the freshman for the tip. And it's back. Tennessee starts with the basketball. Offensively, and that was a huge box out for them. Tennessee, an outstanding offensive rebound team. Give up size. Connecticut does. Crystal Dangerfield breaks the scoring seal on this one. Green, one of their double figure scores to an ACL injury early. And Avina Westbrook is now sitting on the UConn bench after transferring. Crystal Dangerfield has all four for Connecticut. Have a foul. The difference is Tennessee has a lot more depth in the post than Connecticut. Walker taking it inside, draws the foul and puts it home. Gina Oriama wants Megan Walker to attack the basket. A really nice job here. Going at the rim, an opportunity for an and one. Turnovers off of passes. Tennessee is so long. Sometimes you underestimate the length with their hands, and they've been able to get into the passing lanes. Dangerfield from that area, three of three to start. Davis got out on Dangerfield. He'll still find space on the floor. Size. Williams got a breather as well. Horston got into trouble. There's some of the length of Aubrey Griffin with a steal. Control settles and scores. Lou Brown getting out on the freshman Makarat, who has really improved her shooting from outside. What a rebound by Griffin. Another offensive rebound for UConn. Dangerfield, this time inside the arc, puts it in. Walker will trigger a quick three. First triple for Megan Walker. From the floor. Brown turned it over, trying to find Kushkidawa. Nice pass by Dangerfield to a cutting Griffin in transition. 38 seconds remaining in the first quarter, and Griffin has had to step in. Her instincts are terrific, and she gets her hand on the basketball and still beats everybody down the floor in transition. I think it's six now. Oh, Davis was looking for it from Burrell, never really got a clean look at it. There's Walker, drift into the corner for three. With another offensive rebound for UConn. Right now, continually using Aubrey Griffin as a screen setter. Williams this time gets the bounce on a third try. Connecticut in terms of what she can bring on the offensive end of the floor. Connecticut cannot win this game unless Williams comes alive. Aubrey Griffin into the thick of things, saving it for Williams, puts it in. Into key, get her a touch inside. Look at the size. Yeah, right there. Tamari Key defended by Megan Walker, the smaller player. Danger field to Makarov, the freshman. Blew the layup, Griffin's there. UConn has its largest lead. Not boxing out. She wants to see them drive for the layup, limit the turnovers, move to get open, and they want to feed the post as we're seeing right there with Key. Entry into Key. She had position, she had size. And then here comes Griffin with her superior athleticism to block the shot. She has been everywhere. Balls, good job of getting back in defense. Makarov takes the three and knocks it down. Take a breath. Kushkedua, because Connecticut's with a small lineup, is tasked with guarding Makarov. She's in the paint like a post player would be. Makarov wide open. National title runs, 96, 97, 98. Sparta, Tennessee native, back at her alma mater. Push Kittawa with a good defensive play, but Aubrey Griffin is on the spot again to give UConn a seven-point lead. Push Kittawa. There was Nelson Adota helping out on defense that time. Makarov outlet to Williams with the left hand. Largest lead for UConn now at nine. Dangerfield. First double-digit lead of the night for the Huskies. <laughs> Lobo against Rowe. I want to see it. <laughs> hey, listen, Holly's got a mean jump stop. Don't ever question it. Makarat sinks one from inside the arc. Season is 19%. Makarat to Nelson Adota. First field goal of the night. Off the inbound, Lou Brown. Nelson Adota battles and gets the board. It starts the break. Numbers for UConn. Williams all the way home. Down a dozen. Well, give Nelson Adota that shot, and she'll sink it. 
That's that. I mean, that might be the part that sticks out the most yeah. when all of this is said and done. Nelson Adota, the turnaround, puts it home. And after 13 years, these two story programs finally meet. And for the first time in more than a decade and a half, Gino Ariema has a win against the Orange of Tennessee.